Want to toast our country's independence? Well, why not do it in style with patriotic cocktails? Our next guest is here with recipes for red, white, and blue drinks. We want to welcome Michael Martz. He's the lead bartender at Braddock Street Side in Pittsburgh's Renaissance Hotel. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Heather. Happy 4th. Happy 4th to you, too. I can't cheers to you yet. Not yet. You're going to make your drink, but tell me what I'm holding so right now. So what you're holding is the Stars and Stripes. That's going to have stateside vodka, which okay. is a Pennsylvania uh, raised vodka, ginger beer, fresh squeezed lemon juice, a little bit of absinthe. So a play on a mule. Okay. A little bit of patriotic vibe. And it looks like there's something like muddled or there's something. There's muddled uh, blueberries and raspberries Ooh. at the bottom as well. And I love your little flags. Yeah. yeah. And the mason jar. It gives it a, such a nice touch. Yeah. Mm. Nice and decorative. Wow. Pretty good, huh? The ginger beer really plays on the tartness of the fruit. Yeah. I love this. Good, good, good. So what else are we making so today? So the next one we're going to walk through, I'm calling Lady Liberty. We're going to do blue coat gin. Okay. Which is also an American dry gin. We're Lady also going to do a little bit of blue curacao as well. Do some fresh lemon juice. And tell us what the blue curacao is. I've had this in drinks before, but what is it so exactly? So it's almost like a like a raspberry type liqueur for the most part. Okay. It's tart. Um, not a lot of liquor in it? Or? Not a lot of liquor in it. Uh, a lot of it's for aesthetics, kind of for the look of cocktails. Um, it is it is pretty tart. It can be overpowering, so you have to really watch how you play with it Okay. for the most part. Okay. Now, are you like Tom Cruise in cocktail? Are you no, 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 okay. no, <laughs> no, no. Those days are all those days are all gone. <laughs> so we're gonna do an ounce and a half of gin. Okay. And we're gonna do three quarter ounce of lemon juice. And now, do you for, for a drink like this? Do you have to do fresh squeeze lemon juice? We do. Too? Okay, everything, you do. Everything that we do, there's all fresh okay. done. Yep. But if you're at home, can you use the little lemon that you buy at the grocery store? Yeah, yeah, you can do so that. You can do that. Okay. You just have to use a little bit more of it. That's all right. All. Yeah. <laughs> Slide this off to the side here. This is going to go in a martini glass as well. And then I'm just going to float the blue curacao in at the end of it. And tell us a little bit more about Braddock Street Side. So I've been to Braddock Street Side for four years, okay. but um, it is in the heart of the cultural district, right on 6th Street in the uh, historic Fulton building. So we are one of the largest whiskey selections in the city as well. But we do all handcrafted cocktails. Actually, these cocktails as well, they will be available today too. Oh, nice. The recipes are left, so if anybody's outside going downtown to see fireworks, et cetera, et cetera, they can come in and get these cocktails the same way that we're building oh, nice. on TV well, I, I haven't had the other ones yet, but I can recommend the yeah, Stars and Stripes. One's nice. This one's really good. That one's nice. This is a play on an old gin drink too. Should we bring this drink out to Ron? I feel like he needs one out there in the heat. Yeah, Ron could probably use one of those <laughs> out think. there. Here you are, miss. A couple okay, maraschino cherries Okay, very in there nice. As well, okay? Look how beautiful. You did such a nice job. Thank you. And I love this. I think the state stores are open today, too. So if you still want to make these, get some of these liqueurs. And oh, liqueurs, yeah, absolutely. You know, you can still. Absolutely. Very cute. Absolutely. Okay, so what else are we making? So I can't wait to try this After one. that, we're going to do a drink called the firecracker, okay? So what we're going to do there is we're going to muddle a strawberry. All these are really nice and seasonal, too. I kind of wanted to stick away from doing anything too heavy, so everything's going to be really nice and light. I have to ask you, like, yes. an at-home trick. So what are, you're muddling with probably, like, a muddler or something, right, <laughs> something yeah. like a yeah. tool. What do you do at home if you don't have Ugh. one of those? I mean, you could use, I would say, maybe, like, a wooden spoon. Okay. Something's got to be pretty firm to be, able to, to be able to muddle those things. Okay. All right. Okay. This is really refreshing, Thank by the you. way. Thank you. And we're going to do three quarter ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice as well. Okay. And then a house made cucumber simple syrup too. So. And how would you go about making something like that? Well, we use granulated sugar for this simple syrup. Um, this simple syrup here actually calls, this is demerara syrup. This actually calls for turbinado sugar, like okay. cane sugar, sugar in the raw for the most part. You're talking French to me now. So what's, <laughs> what, is, what is that? Granulated kind of sugar is, this is, the, this is just made with, if you use sugar in the raw ever before, okay. that's exactly what this is. All right. Okay. And then we just use granulated sugar, just plain white sugar All in right. layman's <laughs> terms for this, yeah. And then we're going to do a little bit of vodka as well with this. And this is the, the local vodka. Where is this, this based this, out of? These are both out of Philadelphia. So I kind of wanted to do a play on the nation's first capital as well for the 4th of July. I love how you're bringing that yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Stateside's a really good product. They just started uh, making it recently. It's really, really, really nice. And we're going to double strain this too. What does that mean? So I'm going to walk you through this. Okay. We're going to shake it first, and then we're going to use a tea strainer 
to kind of get all the pulp out of that cocktail so that it's really nice and smooth and you're not fighting with too much muddled stuff. Okay. You don't want to be sucking strawberry seeds yeah. into your straw. Yeah. Okay. I keep going back and forth between these two. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, that's good. You're an equal opportunist. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Okay. And now do you put the ice in after? Or we do. do you, okay. I always ice my cocktails after. You do? Uh, I do. Okay. I do. Because I don't want them dying ever. Um, especially when you're making handcrafted cocktails too. You want them to be, you want them to have as, as, as much integrity as possible when, when, when I'm serving them to a guest at least. I see. Okay. Very and good. And we did just a cucumber speared with a strawberry in there as well. And so I know at Braddock Streetside, you were mentioning some of the other cocktails you do. Sure. I recently had a pineapple jalapeno margarita that was yep. delicious. And you guys are constantly trying to come up with some new drinks we there. We are. Yeah, I do a flight of the week every week. So because being a whiskey bar, um, we'll pick three different bourbons, rye, scotches, Irish to uh, have available. And then we also do a cocktail of the week every week, too. And I actually did a play on a pineapple jalapeno margarita recently, too. Wow. Yeah. It's this is amazing. This is out of this world. What yeah. is this one called? That's going to be called the firecracker. The fire. Really nice. Certainly is a firecracker. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for You're joining us welcome. this morning. We Thank appreciate you. it. And you can look for all of these cocktail recipes at kdka.com slash PTL. We will have the recipes. Or you can stop by Braddock Street Side Bar today and let Michael make them for you. That's on the corner of 6th and Fort Duquesne Boulevard in the Pittsburgh Renaissance Hotel. Thanks again. Thank you so much for having us. All right.